There are not many scientists who can claim to have discovered a fundamental principle of biology. Tony Pawson is one of that select group. Tony has a, an amazing sense for knowing, um, for recognizing um, you know, powerful new tools or innovative approaches, recognizing them, bringing those tools in and applying them to his science so that his, his, his science is advancing. My interest in you know, what we would call signaling, meaning how one cell signals to another and cellular communication arose originally out of my interest in how normal cells turn into cancer cells and it, and it turns out that cancer by and large results from a breakdown in these signaling processes so to understand cancer cells we had to also understand how normal cells communicate and that's sort of really um, so, 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 so my interest um, derives from the fact that it was actually so important for this particular disease state though it turns out that aberrations in signaling are critical for um, or underlie many different human diseases, you know, diabetes, um, immune deficiencies, diseases of the nervous system and so forth. And this prov provided the, the um, instrumental key, the, the missing key for how signaling components within cells, the, the, the proteins which, which uh, cells use to communicate uh, messages from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell and to regulate gene activity, for example, uh, slot together and how they, how they um, actually tell each other what to do. This wasn't just a theoretical triumph. There were immediate practical implications. Our argument over the last two to three decades has been if we understand um, in detail how signaling works, that will allow us to, to design a new group of therapies that are more specifically targeted to diseases that result from defects in cell communication like cancer. I think this is revolutionizing actually the, the whole idea of cancer therapy uh, and there are a whole new uh, range of drugs which are being, um, uh, will be released in, uh, in testing right now which have the same sort of specificity and precision. New cancer drugs like Gleevec and Herceptin are a direct result of Tony Pawson's work on signaling. Recognition has been universal. The Gairdner Award, election to the Royal Societies of London and Canada, the Heineken Prize, the Killam Prize, the Order of Canada, all before he was 50. There is undoubtedly more to come, more discoveries, more awards, because his intense desire to know is just as strong as ever. What's critical is a passion for understanding the field that you work on. In, in my case, um, as I said, you know, understanding how living things work and what goes wrong with them in disease would seem like a good way to spend your time. And, but, but I think you have to have a passionate desire to understand. I think with Tony, it's, it's, a, it's a, a marriage of his enthusiasm, his ability to inspire people to do great things, uh, his imagination, uh, his ability to notice something which doesn't fit and then to pursue it. You know, doing what we do, um, although sometimes it seems um, hard and a struggle, I mean, you know, who, the, the fact that we're paid to do what we love and, you know, feel very aggrieved if we actually have to do anything that people tell us to do, and, um, yeah, um, y y you know, it's an extraordinarily satisfying and rich life to be able to just sort of follow your nose, do what you're fascinated in. He's the um, arguably uh, one of the highest sighted people of doing medical research in this in this country, and uh, so and he also, uh, whenever he gives a seminar, it's, there's going to be something exciting in in that seminar because he's at the forefront of his field. He's always uh, not in the field; he leads the field. Seeing how science is done by in, in the, the lab of Tony and of all the other great scientists that Tony has played a key role in recruiting, both in this floor and in the, the institute, that uh, it's been absolutely great for my career development. Uh, it's pretty hard for me to go off the rails in terms of being a successful scientist when uh, I have a, a great role model just across the, the hall. His discoveries 
uh, have impacted many, many disciplines of, of medical research and, and other areas of research. And so uh, I think it's entirely fitting that we are able to recognize him as a country and he should be within this, this select um, uh, uh, list of, of, of exceptional scientists.